Chapter 17 Physical Features of India Time to Think On an outlined map of India, mark all states and union territories with their names. India is a big and beautiful country. It is also known as Bharat, that is Hindustan. It is big in both area and population. The area of our country is 32,87,263 square kilometers. It is the seventh largest country in the world and the second most populated country. The first one is China. India lies to the north of the equator between 8 degrees 4 minutes and 37 degrees 6 minutes north latitude and 68 degrees 7 minutes and 97 degrees 25 minutes east longitude. It is bounded on the southwest by the Arabian Sea and on the southeast by the Bay of Bengal. On the north, northeast and northwest lie the Himalayan ranges. The southern tip, Kanyakumari, is washed by the Indian Ocean. India measures 3,214 km from north to south and 2,933 km from east to west. It has a land frontier of 15,200 km and a coastline of 7,516.5 km. Andaman and Nicobar Islands in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Islands in the Arabian Sea are parts of the Indian Territory. India shares its political borders with Pakistan on the west and Bangladesh and Myanmar, Burma on the east. The northern boundary consists of Sikkim and a province of China, Tibet, Nepal and Bhutan. India has many different types of land surfaces like mountains, plains, deserts, rivers, forests, lakes, islands, oceans, valleys, etc. Thus, it can be divided into six regions, namely the northern mountains, the northern plains, the great Indian desert, the southern plateau, the coastal plains, the island groups of India. 1. The northern mountains The northern part of India has a high wall of mountains. These are referred to as the northern mountains or the Himalayas. Himalayas means a boat of ice and snow. The Himalayas stretches from the Karakoram range in Jammu and Kashmir to Arunachal Pradesh. The Himalayas are the highest mountain range in the world. Mount Everest in the Himalayas is the highest peak 8,848 meters in the world. It is situated in Nepal. Kanchanjunga and Nanda Devi are two of the highest peaks in India. Mount Godwin Austin, also known as K2, 8611 meters, is the highest mountain peak in India and second highest in the world. The Himalayan range is divided into three parallel ranges. A. The Great Himalayas or the Himadri. B. The Lesser Himalayas or the Himachal. C. The Lower Himalayas or the Shivalik. 2. The Northern Plains. The Northern Plains stretch from Punjab in the west to Assam in the east. They are flat and fertile so they are most suitable for farming. They produce more food than any other part of India. That is why they are called the food bowl of India. The Satlish, Ganga and Brahmaputra are some important rivers. They divide the northern plains into three parts. A. Satlish Basin The western part of the northern plains is called the Satlish Basin. Punjab and Haryana lie in this basin. It does not get much rainfall, so canals and tube wells are used for irrigation. Wheat, cotton, barley, sugarcane, rice and gram are some important crops grown here. This basin is very hot in summer and very cold in winter. Dry winds blow in summer. 
B. Ganga Basin The Ganga Basin lies to the east of the Satluj Basin. It stretches from Uttaranchal to West Bengal. The Ganga and Yamuna are the main rivers. This basin has a lot of rain. It is very hot in summer and very cold in winter. Wheat, sugarcane and rice are the major crops grown here. C. Brahmaputra Basin The eastern part of the northern plains is called the Brahmaputra Basin. It gets a very heavy rainfall. Rice and jute are the main crops grown here. On hill slopes, tea is grown in large quantities. 3. The Great Indian Desert The Great Indian Desert lies to the southwest of the northern plains. It stretches from the Aravali Hills to the boundary of Pakistan. It is also known as the Thar Desert. This region has a very little rain. So, one can hardly see any vegetation here. Water is very scarce in this region, so it is not suitable farming. The camel is the chief means of transport. It is called the ship of the desert because it can walk easily over the sand. The southern plateau. The southern plateau lies to the south of the northern plains. It covers a very large area of our country. Its both edges have hills. The hills in the east are called the Eastern Ghats and in the west are called the Western Ghats. The Western Ghats are higher than the Eastern Ghats. Most of the land surface is rocky and uneven. The color of the soil varies from place to place. The main rivers of this region are the Chambal, Betwa, Sun, Narmada, Tapti, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kavir. The rivers are rain-fed, so they do not flow throughout the air. This region is rich in minerals like coal, iron, gold, manganese, mica, etc. Kohler gold mines in Karnataka are very famous. The Nilgiri hills are the highest in this region. The soil of this region is suitable for growing tea, coffee, rubber, tobacco, peanut and cotton. 5. The Coastal Plains A mass of land surrounded by water on three sides is called a peninsula. India has a long coastline on both its eastern and western sides. The land which lies between the sea and the mountain ranges is called the Coastal Plains. These coastal plains are found between Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea on the west coast and Eastern Ghats and the Bay of Bengal on the east coast. Both these coastal plains meet at Kanyakumari. The western coastline begins in Gujarat and ends at the southern tip of India. The climate along this coast causes heavy rainfall. Agriculture and dairy are the main occupations in the states of eastern coastal plains. On the eastern coast, the important towns located are Rameswaram, Puducherry, Chennai, Visakhapatnam, and Kolkata. On the western coast, the important seaports are Kandla, Mumbai, Ranaji, Mangalore, and Kochi. 6. The Island Groups of India Islands are masses of land surrounded by water on all sides. There are many islands in the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea which are the parts of Indian territory. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands lie in the Bay of Bengal and Lakshadweep Islands are located in the Arabian Sea. The Andaman and Nicobar Islands are a group of more than 300 big and small islands. The capital is Port Blair. Mostly tribal people live in these islands. These islands are known for their fisheries, tourism, and ship repairing industries. People here grow rice, coconut, pineapple, sugarcane, spices, and rubber. Lakshadweep is the smallest unit territory of India. It is a group of 36 islands, of which only 10 are inhabited. Most of the people living here rely on agriculture for their living.
Kavaratti is the capital of Lakshadweep. Koi making and fishing are the main occupations of people of these islands. The climate of India. Our country is very big. It has variation in temperature, rainfall, so different types of climate is found in different parts of our country. Some parts have hot summers and cold winters, while some parts have the same type of climate throughout the year. Some parts receive too much rain while others hardly get any rain. The northern plains and central parts of India experience an extreme type of climate. They have hot summers and cold winters. The southern parts of our country are hot but not so hot as the northern plains. It is because the winds coming from the seas keep the coasts and nearby places cool. When the northern India shivers with cold in winter, the southern India has a mild climate. In the southernmost India, the winter is just a name. It rains heavily along western coast, in West Bengal and in the northeastern states. The central part of the southern plateau and the western part of the northern plains get a little rain. In Rajasthan and Kutch, the rain is just a name. Other parts of our country receive moderate rain. In spite of these diversities, there is one thing common in India. It is a cycle of seasons in India. India has three main seasons, the winter, summer and rains.